was will i get paid and how much right so when it comes to getting paid with an apprenticeship it depends on the course that you go for so there's a lot of people that would go for let's say engineering or the technical side or it or stem let's say stem as a whole gets paid way more than let's say business admin or um accountant or um just assistance apprenticeships apprenticeships that comes with a phrase assistance to it um something like digital marketing actually also pays a lot if you check brands like companies like uh google and capgemini and these banks if you do an apprenticeship in like bigger companies you are more entitled to more salaries if it makes sense um i did my apprenticeship in the university so my salary was let's say the average it wasn't that uh, you know a big salary and it wasn't low as well and in between my apprenticeship i actually had a, i had a salary increase so it's also dependent on performance when you go on some of the platforms they say um some of the apprenticeships are competitive when they say competitive it depends on your you know your performance as well because you are working in the corporate world as you are doing your um your apprenticeship course as well so um you know one thing that i would also say in this point is an apprenticeship is an apprenticeship and you are not seen as somebody who knows it all because bear in mind that some people come straight from gcse's and they don't even have a clue about how this job sector works or they've never had a job and this is their first job and so it has to be very you know conducive the environment has to be you know a, it has to be a learning environment and less of a demanding environment so um that's one thing you need to take into consideration as well that you will be working with people who have worked in that, those companies for years and have so many experience in the job so you don't have to put yourself in a box where you 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 are too hard on yourself but you have the mindset of a student okay all right so the next question was um oh yeah and this point before i move on uh, usually it depends on the level you go for so let's say level three pays lesser than a level seven right and then level seven is a master's level so it's totally up to you in the level that you go for or the level that you can't go for second question so how many hours a week will i have to work i said i said that already in the first point actually so you are only able to work 40 hours and below um some apprenticeships would give you the specific hours you have to work for others would make it a bit more flexible some are some you can work remotely which is great right it's a plus um some is hybrid and some is just in the office so it's totally dependent on you as well um the third question was will i be offered a role at the end of my apprenticeship uh the answer is the answer is yes and no um there is an opportunity for a redeployment so whenever you are done with when you're done with your apprenticeship you have the opportunity to you know apply let's say at the towards the end um towards your endpoint assessment which is a time where you are you know bringing together everything your portfolio your projects and everything that you've done depending on your apprenticeship we have like medical apprenticeships as well so i don't know what they do but for the business side um towards the end of your apprenticeship you do an endpoint assessment and for the endpoint assessment you would have to um um then during that time then be applying for roles in the company um so it's totally dependent on if they have the role you want or if there's opportunities available for you or if you'd like to stay there right it's very important for you to take all those things into consideration um yeah yeah um so it's totally up to you if you want to stay there or move on move higher a higher level because one thing about apprenticeships as well is when you do a level three you cannot do a level three in that exact same apprenticeship again you you can do a level three but in a totally different field that if you want to switch your career you want to have a career switch or something you can definitely do a level three again but you cannot do it in that same course right is question four am i employed by the business this is this i think i've already mentioned this you are employed by the business you are seen as an official worker 
of the business i was seen as an official administrator because i did an, an administrative apprenticeship so i was seen as an official administrator in my company and um you are considered and approached as a worker you know so you need to be on your girl boss behavior or your guy boss behavior i don't know how to say for guys but um you need to have, have that mindset that you're working for a company you are a professional in that company but then you also need to have the mindset that you can switch up and be a student as well and you know try and learn how to balance your time so an apprenticeship doesn't only build you up um for the career world but it helps you to balance a lot of things as well um it would push you that's the truth it would push you to do your best every time because you don't have time to slack that's the truth you don't have time to slack sweetheart you need to be go 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 and trust me you have a lot of mentors i'm sure um, for every apprenticeship there is like a career buddy um there's a study buddy there's um uh, you have a tutor yeah just not to prolong this video if you have any questions relating to this question which is um, if you are employed by the business and how you are um, treated as an apprentice let me know and I'll do a separate video about that all right next question is how old do I have to be to do an apprenticeship um, for most apprenticeships it starts from the age of 16 or 18 and above so nobody below the age of 16 I've not seen any apprenticeship that advertise for um, below the age of 16 um, in the UK um, but I know in other countries it is possible I when I was young I actually did an apprenticeship in my mom's business and I was really young really really young but that was not in the UK that was back at home back in Ghana um, and so if if you can find some below that age that's up to you but I don't think that exists <laughs> in the UK um, because you would still be doing your GCSEs which is the minimum requirements or the minimal qualifications that you would need when doing an apprenticeship right okay so um the next question is i have already done an apprenticeship can i do another this i already spoke of um and one point that says is you can jump from one to one provider to the other or one level to another um but you cannot really do the exact same apprenticeship um the same time because for instance if i did a business apprenticeship business management apprenticeship in let's say cup gemini in for level three and i am doing a level level three in let's say business management in that same company i i apply for it again the advert comes again they're not going to employ you because you already have the qualification let's say you pass you already have the qualification for it so why should they pay for your fees again to do it or um let's say a business admin role comes up in level three i don't think they're going to employ you for that because i do you you, you can just move up from there that the ladder is just and i don't think anyone would want to stay on just the level three if you get what i mean you have to move up okay so the next question is what qualification will i get so like i said before it is totally dependent on what you do um so if you do a level three you'll get a level three qualification if you do a level six you'll get a level six qualification level four level five level seven you'll get the qualification you did right um and so that needs to be you know taken into consideration because um when you are doing your, your apprenticeship you might have other apprenticeship sorry you might have other apprentices in that sector or in that company um that you see around as well and they might be doing level six and you might be doing level four um however you both come together and you can study together if it's the same subject you can relate a lot you know with that person because you're both doing an apprenticeship but at the end of the apprentice apprenticeship you're going to get a different qualification to them um so if you want a level three apply for a level three if you want a level six apply for a level six um yeah you guys are gonna do uh, amazing gonna and do. i wish you all the best all the best i would really recommend that you watch a lot of videos as well you know on apprenticeships on the apprenticeship you want um go online see articles read articles do thorough research um and you'll be fine you'll be fine if you need any more questions because i've done a lot of research so you don't go around 
come straight to me in my dms my instagram my tiktok my snap everything is blessed blessed and i hope i have given you guys what you needed the value that you needed any other questions drop it down in the comment section below and it's your girl blessed bless signing out thank you so much for watching my video do not forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications because that you will be notified every time i post and when you click on that video and watch it thoroughly try not to keep any breaks so don't have any breaks in between yes and um just watch the full video to give your girl some views show me some love in the like with the like button and in the comment section and i will try my best to give you guys what you need um also i have something very special coming up soon for you guys something a bit more you know lively and active so stay tuned for that and um i'm going to sign out in three two one bye guys thank you for watching bye stay blessed